Hi, my name is Jim Shulman and welcome to the Home Barista Bench. Today we are looking at an interesting new espresso machine, the Bezerra Strega. The Bezerra Strega is designed as an alternative to heat exchanger or double boiler machines for the home, but it features this Astoria commercial lever. And in this introductory video, I'll be showing you some of the features of the machine as a whole and of this lever group in particular. So I'll begin by taking off this cowling to show you some of the... This is normally attached with a screw, but I've already detached that prior to the video. And this handle moves in. As you see, compared to a machine like the Pavoni or the um, Electro Micro Casa, this is a very massive commercial machine, a uh, spring lever, with the, with the piston and the spring rod connected via this, these massive massive pulley here. And the other feature that you see is this micro switch, which switches on an Ulka 9 bar pump. I'll explain that a little later. The machine ha is a pour over, it has a water tank, it has a boiler with a water tap, and a heat And as you see, the pump will fill the boiler. What the pump also does is when you, the pump also will fill the cylinder. Right now it's filling the boiler. And as you pull down, and there's these bearing wheels slide back and lock, they turn on this micro switch and turn on the pump. The pump now is filling the cylinder with water. Of course, there's no puck in there, so the water is just flowing out. Um, so you have all of the amenities of a home double boiler machine or a heat exchanger machine. Uh, there are some inconveniences to using a lever, either commercial or home. One of them is temperature control. Uh, the Bezerra Strega largely solves this problem by using a group head heater that is in here and a heat exchanger so that the water is not drawn directly from the boiler but from the heat exchanger. So to get the temperature you want, you just flush the group like you would for a normal heat exchanger home espresso machine. Uh, we will now begin. I've prepared the puck ahead of time. So we put this in and we do the normal heat exchanger heating flush. You hear the water boiling and it stops, so we stop. Then we lock in the group and we begin our shot. As you see, the pump is now beginning to fill up the cylinder. In the meantime, we we'll start our milk, and you see the water is be uh, the coffee is beginning to flow. Since the coffee is flowing, we can turn off the pump and let the lever do its thing while we're steaming the milk. And this is a very fast steamer, so the milk is done. And you see that the coffee is beginning to flow. We want to slow it down a bit by letting the lever. In the meantime, I'll clean off this group. And now I can stop the flow entirely by just holding back the lever and I can remove the cup. In the meantime, one of the drawbacks of lever machines is you're out of action until it completes the shot and dumps the wastewater into the drip tray. In the meantime, we will pour our cap in. This is a blend of Kenya and Colombia, which I like for capital. This is not a very good piece of latte art, but you see the microphone, and it is very good. 
Mm. I hit it. Um, nice and sweet. And the whole, and this is a fabulous steaming one, takes about five seconds to steam a cup's worth. There's still a little left. Let's see how we're doing. Mm. Mm. Nice. So, this is the cappuccino with the Bazira Spreaker. Thank you for listening. Cut.